Hey everyone, back at it. Thought I'd do another video of another uh, flower with the blow dryer. This time I've decided to use colors I normally wouldn't use as my favorites are purples, blues, and turquoises. Uh, so I thought I'd throw in some yellow and orange there. So we'll see how that works out. It might be good. It might be an epic fail and turn into mud. But we'll find out together. So whether it works or not, I'll still post it up on YouTube so that you don't make the same mistake I did. So here we have a 12 by 12 inch canvas. I have put my push pins on the bottom to keep it up off the table. I don't tape around the back of the canvas like some people do. Uh, if it gets dirty on the back, I don't really care because when this is done, I cover it up with uh, brown backing paper and put hardware on it for hanging. So it doesn't matter to me if it gets dirty on the back because you won't see it anyway. All right, so here we have our cup. Again, it's just Floetrol and Artist Loft white paint. I had a lot of people ask me in my first video if um, I put any silicone in any of these, and the answer is no. Um, I don't want silicone. I don't want a bunch of cells popping up. Floetrol makes cells on its own anyway. Um, they may not be as big as if you were to add silicone, but I don't want big cells and I also don't want the oiliness um, on the canvas. So no silicone for me. And as I said in my previous first video, you don't want it to be thick. It's got to be a thin consistency or else you won't be able to blow the paint around very much with the blow dryer. So let's get started. I'm just gonna put my glove on here. We'll cover the canvas. Get all the edges around the edges. The uh, first piece I did on the big 20 inch round board has dried and it is perfect. It dried exactly how I left it when it was wet, which is awesome because sometimes that always, sometimes that doesn't happen. You do a painting, you do a pour, everything looks great. You come back the next day to check on it and it's just, not the same. So luckily for me, it dried perfectly. All right, so I think that's good. We'll get rid of that and we will pop our bubbles. There we go. All right. So colors I'm using today is the Pebeo and it's called Dark Cobalt Violet Hue, followed by the Artist Loft Metallic Cobalt Blue, and then the Pebeo again, Opaque Primary Yellow, and Liquitex Basics, which is cadmium red light hue. I try and stick to opaque paints. Um, I heard that uh, opaque is better than transparent or translucent paints, so I try and stick with that. Whether how, how it works, how it doesn't work, I'm not really sure, but so here's the paint. Again, no silicone, just flow trawl and paint. No water either. Uh, I know some people add water to thin it out, 
I don't. You can if you want. So I think we're going to start with the cobalt blue. I hope this works and I hope this doesn't turn into a muddy mess. Um, I think I'm going to start in the middle as opposed to down here because I'm this time I'm going to try and blow a little this way and a little this way. So I'm going to try and do a diagonal tonight, see how that works out. So let's do a little puddle here. Okay. Should be enough. Uh, let's do some yellow here. And then down here, I'll do purple. And yellow, why not? Okay these aside so I don't knock them over and make a mess everywhere. There we go. So we will take our white and flood the sides all the way around. You want a lot of white paint. I think that should be good. Uh, one more, why not? Okay. Yeah, a little more. And this way. All right. I think that should be good. Let's see here. I'm gonna try a little bit of that. And I'll go around the table and do the other side. Okay. Let's see what happens. So here's my lovely blow dryer, hair dryer. I'll have to retape that up. It should do for now. I always hold it upside down. I find it's easier to push that way, get the wind to go that way, and I use it on high. I don't think the low setting is powerful enough. So here goes nothing. I'm a little nervous, I gotta admit. Oh well, let's see what happens. side and go the other way. Wow. I am pretty happy with that. There are some really nice cells happening, especially there. That is amazing. So... Let's see what we can do here. I got an apron, see that? I'm gonna wipe my hands on here instead of on my clothes now. <laughs> All right, let's see. Oh, I like that. I like how it's got that little rim around the end there. I really like that. Let's see if I can 
kind of turn this around. So, all right. Really liking that. Oh, I think other than this little spot here, which I will torch and we'll see what happens. I'm, I'm liking the colors. I like the yellow. There's orange. It didn't really get muddy, which is great. And I'm just gonna blow a little bit more over here. I don't want to blow here. There's some great cells, and they they're actually green, so that's really nice. Uh, let's see here. I'm afraid to ruin it. Maybe I should just leave it. I did one, two, three there. One, two, three there. Let's leave it at that. So let's see what happens. Oh, that's nice here along the side. You can see here along the side too. It's really nice. Let's see what happens when we hit a little bit with a torch, shall we? Oh, look at that. I don't know if you can see that, probably not. Bunch of little cells popped up in there, which is actually really nice. It totally just broke up that plain section there, which is really nice now. And a little turquoise just came out through the center. Look at that. Maybe I should turn this down. I put butane in it earlier, so it's at full strength here. Let's see. Yep. Little white, tiny, tiny cells popping up here. I think I like it like that. Well, Personally, I really like it. It looks great. I think I'm gonna do a little more up here and see if I can get any colors to pop through there. And here, because I can see purple under there. As you can see, it just popped up too. Let's see if I can get any more. What about down here? Anything? No. Perfect. Just gonna check my edges. That side is perfect. Um, let's see here. Just a little here on the edge. You want to make sure you don't touch any of the colored paint that has come over the edges because you definitely don't want to ruin that beautiful design along the side. So I think it's pretty covered. I will just check the other side real quick. Oh yeah, definitely need some white here. It's pretty bare. I uh did another little quick video before I did this one on prepping a wooden MDF board. So feel free to check that one out and give it a thumbs up. And please subscribe. So, okay, I think we're good. I'm really, really liking this. This one teeny tiny spot right here. I like it. I like it a lot. <laughs> okay. I will take the phone off the tripod and bring you in for a close up. So bear with me, guys. All right. Let's see here. 
hope it's focusing. So there's little cells here. Turquoise is beautiful. This cobalt blue is probably one of my favorite colors. This is where I torched, where it was just purple. And as soon as the torch hit it, the yellow came through and that speck of turquoise, which is beautiful. And then up here as well, you can see there's some green and orange in there and then the purple there. So there it is, everyone. Let me know your thoughts, if you like it, if you guys have any color combinations you'd like me to attempt, I can do that too. Let me know your thoughts, give it a thumbs up, and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a great night.